Hey, it's Magic Turtle 643 There's one thing I noticed about the sketchbook videos that you probably noticed too, and that's that I only show off the terrible drawings that look really goofy and ridiculous because I want to make fun of them, and I never show you the more detailed drawings that I was more proud of as a kid, like this one. Now, if you look close, the sinewy guy is really out of proportion with like really long and skinny legs, but the detail is obviously like I was really playing the win on this one. His name is Freezer Fist, and he was part of this novel I had done, this epically long and way unnecessarily complex story called The Forecast, which is about these four soldiers that were like fighting some war. Of course, that's what it's about. It's fantasy, so there's always just swords and they're warring. But there were a lot of characters. For these, from these different factions, like these different gangs. This one's named White Sky, that one's named Cold Blow. These all sort of sound like minty bubblegum flavors, don't they? Even Breeze, again. This was some sort of ninja assassin guy with long, pretty hair. This one's Deep Rain. I remember he was one of the, the spies. He was undercover. This is Frostfire, that was the main character. Ice Tongue, who's a sorcerer, but again, sounds like some sort of spearmint flavor. This is Shiver Shot, a sort of cold and calculating archer who was on the bad guy's side. And that's all I drew because the book was like over a thousand pages long and there were way too many characters and the plot was really convoluted so I didn't draw the rest but you can see all their names up in the upper corner that was labeling which ones I was going to draw. But all of them are blank. You know, as I was perusing this I started to realize about my younger self that all I ever drew was like characters, you know, like a full frontal of like a dude in armor with like a cool awesome sword and guns or some chick in a skimpy outfit holding a bazooka because that's all any young boys ever draw. I mean just the thought to my young brain of like sitting down and doing a landscape or like a portrait of somebody's face was just like yawn! With, I, it's like a yawn ray gun, like somebody shot me with <sighs> oh, What setting do you have it on? Full blast? But it's not just teenage boys who are obsessed with, like, cool action hero dudes who are, like, suave womanizers and also mechanical geniuses and trained in martial arts and marksmanship. It's the whole world, you know, Hollywood and TV. All the plots are just centered in badasses who know just what to say at the right time, but also just where to shoot to kill you the fastest. It probably has something to do with some obsession with violence. I find that when I'm writing stories, I'm like, this isn't like explosion-y enough. I need more things going I could be writing like a small town romantic love story and be like, this is getting boring. Somebody needs to get shot in the chest or kicked in the ear. One of the two is the only choices. I do think we as media consumers have gotten pretty dependent on gunshot and punch sound effects. I mean, look at these drawings. All anybody did in my imagination was try to kill one another. Look at this dragon Rottweiler crossbreed with three eyes. I guess my point, and the sad thing is, I haven't really changed. My brain is still wired to think something's not cool unless there are lasers in it. I mean, I can try to be a mature, responsible adult all I want, but there will always be a part of my mind that wants to put together a team of intergalactic crime-fighting misfits. Okay, that guy's a werewolf, that chick's a ghost, I'm missing a vampire. But there is a little space cadet bird with a jetpack. That seems redundant. Why would you need a jetpack? But it is a little depressing that I, but also everybody, can't go for very long without seeing somebody get punched in the tooth or an explosion happening with some guy walking forward who, who's not interested in looking at it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Subscribe for more videos. And one final note, Geek and Sundry is holding auditions to induct 10 people into their vlogs channel, so you should check out the SWAT sisters and Books and Brew. Both are awesome channels, so you should subscribe to them and watch their stuff, but also you should vote for them in the links below. Thanks for watching.